Hello, welcome to week four. This week we are going to use some of those ink drawings that we did last week and create a brand new piece of work, a collage, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do mine. So first of all, you're going to need some glue. Uh, I've got some regular PVA here, um, but you can also use something called acrylic, uh, like acrylic medium. And this is quite runny. I'm just going to show you the difference. So this is acrylic medium and this is PVA. So you can use either of these two. You're more likely to have the PVA, but I just wanted to show you how different this is. And this acts as a quite a nice varnish as well over the top of your collage when you're finished. And I've got some ink drawings here from last week. So I've got this one and this one. Oh, this one so we were looking at silhouettes weren't we and there's a few here that are not successful so I am going and we're a bit more sort of experimental so I am going to cut these up and turn these into a collage so you also need some scissors or a knife and a ruler uh, which I've got here and I'm going to get going so First of all, um, I've been looking at the work of Karen Stamper, who's a Yorkshire-based artist. And I found her work really inspiring. Now, you can do this really methodically and cut all the pieces into the same size and shape and lay them next to each other on the paper or you could tear the paper and place it together now I quite like some of these darker sections so I'm going to keep that all together here So once I've cut all my pieces out, or as I say, I could tear them. So you might want some edges like that with the white, or you might prefer to have them like this. together now I'm really thinking about uh, composition here so you don't want to have too much um, black or too any areas that are too busy you want to have some areas where your eye can sort of rest uh, I'm also thinking about whether um, I'm going to use the rule of thirds. So having perhaps some detail or some really areas of high contrast in the crossover sections um, on my composition. So if you're not sure about the rule of thirds, there is a uh, link in the handout so do have a look at that but it's basically imagining that there's a grid over the top of your uh, imagine like uh, noughts and crosses like a grid of three lines this way and this way and then choosing a section on the areas that cross in the middle um, and having one of those as your focal point that can help um, there's lots of other compositional devices so you can have like a strong diagonal or you can have that tripod that a lot of the old master paintings had um, but I'm just you know also just choose what you like uh, it doesn't have to be that complicated it could be just what you think works and what your what you like as a composition works
Right, so I'm going to glue these down. So I'm going to use my PVA first. And then I'm going to use this much thinner medium. It does actually go on a bit more easily. And then I think I'm going to have another piece of that here. And I've worked into it so much now, you can almost not tell that that was flowers to begin with. <laughs> but I quite like that. I'm going to paint over the top with that acrylic varnish. I might still add a few more little 